Okay, we are going to do a little soft hackled pheasant tail. Um, it's it's a pretty basic pattern, not a lot of explanation needed here, but uh, we got these really cool um, hen capes from their Hebert Miner hen capes. They're dark brown done, so they're kind of a brownish color on one side, and then if you flip them over, they're they're kind of grayish. So super cool color. Um, I plan on putting it on a whole bunch of different flies. This hook's kind of cool too. It's a newer hook. It's the Fulling Mill Heavyweight Competition Hook. This one's a 14. They run a little bit small, so this is going to tie a little bit more like a 16. But it's a really strong hook. Uh, they make them in, I think, down to 16, which would be really more like an 18. Anyway, um, because this is a soft hackle, I'm not going to put any lead wire on it. I want to be able to wrap that hackle um, around a more thin area. And I've got a three millimeter hook or bead on it. If you go any smaller with the beads, this hook does have kind of uh, an interesting bend to it. So they can be kind of hard to get hooks over. Um, so maybe use a little bit bigger bead than you, you would usually. So I'm just going to dress this hook up with some burnt orange thread. And I'm going to be fairly thin with it. Go to the back where I'm going to tie in the tail. Nothing special on this pheasant, just a few fibers off of a good old ring neck. What? Curtis, you're going to have to bleep that out. I forgot. We're not in the UK. All right. Um, so just three or four fibers. And we're going to tie those fibers in roughly the same length as the shank of the hook. Just like that. And now I've got it tied in with, with one wrap. Maybe two. And now I'm going to lift that up and bring my thread forward and tie in some small wire. So since I'm using a gold bead, I'll use gold wire and take that back build up a little bit of a, a taper, but not too much. And I'm going to do one final wrap behind the pheasant tail. And then a little bit of a taper. All right, now pheasant tail is fairly brittle so I'm going to put a tiny bit of super glue on this body and counter wrap it with the wire so make it a little bit more durable there's some materials that I prefer to wrap rotary style and pheasant tail is definitely one of them so I'll just grab this with my pinky like I said, I'm going to tie a quick half hitch in this. And then I'll grab it with my pinky. And then you can see I broke off one of the fibers already. That's all right. We're going to save it. It's going to be a very sparse pheasant tail body. You can even... So. Gosh dang it. Oh. Pheasant tail around the world, you can... I swear you sabotage my materials just so you, you can get me to swear. Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to screw up a fly in the best and fastest way to cut material off your fly. So in case like, what if you have a whole bunch of kibari flies sitting around tied on good hooks? Boom! Now you can turn them into cool stuff. <sighs> okay, let's see how fast I can redo that. I'm going to make Curtis do some editing. As usual. Okay, I'm going to get us to where we tie in the pheasant tail. Okay, we're fast forwarding here. What happened was... I broke off the pheasant tails. I even tried to downplay it, saying, oh, it's okay if you break one. And then I, I snapped it. So 
I had some really old pheasant tail that was not of the nature spirit variety. Now I do. So I'm going to take four or five of those fibers and tie those in right at the back of the hook with two turns of thread and lift those up and then come forward and take some wire the same color that you're going to be using in the fly. I'll tie that in right here behind the bead and take the wire all the way back to the tie-in point and do one single wrap behind the fibers and now build up a very slight taper. That's about all I want right there. Can't even hardly see it. Now, as we learned already, pheasant tail is not very durable. So I'm going to put some head cement on it. When I say head cement, I meant super glue. And I'm going to put a a quick half hitch in this because I like to wrap this rotary style. So I'm just going to hang my thread over here with my pinky and begin the wrap. I can already tell this piece is way stronger than the other one that I tried to wrap that Curtis hijacked. So just like that. That felt like an accomplishment. Wrapping pheasant tail should not be that hard, people. If you want to see me do something that I do easily, go look at our slider video. Gosh. All right. So I'm going to put another half hitch in this because a lot of times, um, like if you have hackle tied down and you want to wrap something else up, it's easy to bump that thread off the front of your fly and then it unravels. It's no bueno. Trust me, if you don't do it, you'll do it a few times and realize what I'm talking about. So I'm going to counter wrap this gold wire forward, about to right there, call it good, and helicopter that off. So, boom, we have a pheasant tail, right? Um, I'm going to use some peacock from the eye on this one, just like two strands of peacock. And I'm gonna, you can see the tips kind of have these like little parts where there's no fiber. So I'm gonna come in here and just trim those off and tie those in about the part where I trimmed them off. And then I'm gonna take those and kind of wrap them around my thread a few times and I'll wrap those both at the same time. I just want a little hint of peacock and that will make it more durable. It's not going to maybe look as pretty but that's a little hack to have more durable peacock and then you can just break them off. Okay so there's not going to be a wing case on this one but I will add some little flashy feelers here. So this is lateral scale, but it's got a really nice mirage-like color. So I'm gonna come in here on the top of the fly. Like I said, come in right on top of the fly and just tie it in and double it over. So there are two little, like, antenna coming off of it. That's just going to give it a little bit of flash. That's actually going to flash a lot more than you think in the water. And then we're going to tie our hackle in in front of that. And I picked out a nice dark brown dun hackle. And there's kind of a gap in between that. The, the peacock and where my thread is. So I'm going to just kind of put this feather in um, dark or dark side forward or shiny side forward. I don't know if there's a shiny side on hen, but I'm going to tie it in so that as, as I start to wrap it, it will sit how I want. So I'll give it 
three or four wraps of thread here. And now if I take my fingers and stroke that back and kind of rotate it back and forth a little bit, it should stick to one side of the stem. And even if it doesn't look like it's doing it, it once you start to wrap, it will, it will lay down nicely. So I've got it, and these are long enough fibers on this that I don't really need to use hackle pliers. And I'm gonna manipulate it with my fingers a little bit. And just do one and a half turns of this. Okay, so that just kind of barely dirties it up. And then if I do it right, you can see that my thread ends up kind of uniformly right behind the bead. And so with my whip finish, that's gonna add just a little bit of color to the fly, which is what I want. You can see nice and uniform. It's got a little bit of flash under the wing or under the hackle, but anyway, that's pretty simple. Put whatever head cement you want on there. Just be careful not to get it into that hen because it will mat it down and you want it to be able to move freely. So there you go. Pheasant tail soft hackle and it fishes.